So, all right, hey fellas, Gary here. I am with uh, two of my good friends, uh, Dave and Christian, or Chris, because people call him both, and he still doesn't answer me what he likes. So you may know these guys. They they work at some places. You work at uh, uh, this place called NSR Tactical, and you work at a place. Called... I run a little kayak shop called uh, Green Force in Florida. Okay, perfect. So uh, up until this point, have you ever been together? No, we've never been in the same room. No. All right. And so certainly never on YouTube together. No. no so never. this is like fucking breaking news right this, here. This is breaking. All right, so we're going to have a celebrity death match. <laughs> uh, right on. Okay. You, okay. Let's go. Let's we're going to fun noodles. Fun noodles. Right. Fun right. noodles in five. Okay. Fun noodles. We need fun noodles. We need fun noodles, man. Fuck, I dropped the ball. Yeah, fuck this up. Yeah. Right. See, All right. Plan. God damn it. All right. I guess we'll have to do something different. Road flares. Road flares. Road flares oh. in six bases. Give me one. Give me one. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? Go. Ah, fuck it. All right, so I have, you win. I have declared this a draw. So now that we get that out of the way, uh, hold on, get this breath. Dave's a little more fit. Uh, Chris is a little better looking. <laughs> so now that we got that all done and over with, the interwebs uh, tend to think that somehow there is this big, you know, uh, conflict between all these manufacturers, right. including you guys. I don't know what that means. Yeah, Con conflict. Yeah. Uh, the that, that's how you get each other. That's how you get diamonds. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought that's how you get diamonds. You get conflict and you get diamonds. Uh, oh, that's what. Yeah, that's what I yeah, thought it meant. Okay. No, that's wonderful. what I thought it meant. So, basically, what I wanted to just do a video here before was because the movies in jail conflict. The people that mm. aren't part of the, uh, oh, what is that uh, that group? The, um, the uh, Camden Mafia Tactical Kydex Cooperative and Tire Care Center. Yes. Yeah. People that remember that, that don't one. realize that, like. You guys are cool with each other. Oh, you yeah, like dude. each other. You're yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny, like, I, I read the shit, and I'm like, man, that's, that's kind of... Because people are like, no, that, that Green Force sucks. NSR is the way to go. No, NSR sucks. <laughs> Green Force is the way to go. Our customers <laughs> are... Our customers... You can step back into the See, it, it, I think the customers invest a lot more of their ego and their gear, and, and I see that in a lot of different things, and they yeah. get really invested in it. It's like, I drive a Mustang. Chevy sucks. Well, yeah. no, you just... You're, you're all invested in it, and I think yeah. people do the same thing with gear. Right. Mm -hmm. We're cool with each other. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're all the time. We're at the top of the food chain in both places, and these guys are... They're not just cool with each other. They're cool. I mean, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh well, thanks. Well, Gary. It's, it's I'll a, be honest. It's um, the way I get gear. He, <laughs> he has straightened out my process because he's been doing his process longer than I have, and he straightened out some of my process issues very early. Gave me pages and pages and pages and pages of advice mm -hmm. and tooling and parts and stuff that made my stuff better. And in the Kydex world, there's so many people doing it, and there's so many people that are doing. Fuck political crap. There's people building some dog shit gear. I mean, it just doesn't work. It's not made right. They're just, it's just wrong. It's as wrong as dick cancer. It's just yep. bad. And when we help each other out, the rising tide raises all boats. My shit gets better. His shit gets better. The other people that we talk to that want to actually cooperate, everybody's gear gets better. It raises a level for everybody. So for the customer, everybody's gear gets better. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're after. I mean, holster's a fire extinguisher. That motherfucker has to work the first time, every, every time. time. Yep. If it don't, if some, it's bullshit. If somebody buys a dog shit holster, you know. They get killed. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If gear, if gear fails, man, bad things happen. That's a bad thing happened. Yep. So, so basically what it sounds like is you care, you care about your customers. Right, right. More so nah. than your individual business. Oh, yeah, dude. Hmm. <laughs> There's a reason I like to surround my, myself with guys well, like, uh, with well, you. I don't know about you, but you, did you get into gear? Uh, I'll put words in your mouth. I got into gear because I was buying dog shit gear. I was buying gear and... It would be great looking and it wouldn't work right. Or it looked like shit and it had bad edges and I couldn't deal with it. Yep. So just had to figure out how to make my thing. own gear. Pretty much the same thing. It, uh, you know, there was a market where there was a lot of mass produced stuff and oh, yeah, there's, like, yeah. there's just not like enough good stuff out there at the time anyway. Now right. it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of people building really good gear. There's a hundred makers out there now, yep. you know, easily. Easy. So. Well, what I haven't told everybody yet is uh, I did a video for Dave, and I said, hey, I like his shit. It's really good. I have not. We filmed the video, oh, yeah, but yeah. it's not out yet. But so if this one happens this week out first, uh, I do recommend Chris's stuff a lot. I really, really like it. So uh, probably what will happen is two gun Gary will have one of each. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here's the deal. This is what I figured out. I did a lot of extensive research here over this last few days. Um, Dave makes the best right-handed holsters in the business, and Chris makes the best left-handed holsters in the business, so that's how I'm going to run my stuff. Well, he, you talk about him and I make different products, yep. okay? They still hold a gun, okay? Yes. He goes at it from a different direction than I do, and he has different design considerations than I do. 
Um, his stuff is adjustable, modular. I mean, it'll 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 do all kinds of cool stuff. Yep. Our driving imperative is strength and compactness. Mm -hmm. So we don't offer a lot of the adjustable features that he does. We go yep. most of our stuff. The hard, the best stuff we build is the stuff where the fasteners are right on the decks. Yep. So you don't have any choice about where it is. We figure it out where it needs to carry. That's where it's going to be. If you don't like that, please buy an SR. Um, <laughs> TDI sheets. I make TDI sheets. I don't make great TDI sheets. I make good TDI sheets. He makes fantastic TDI sheets. I would rather, anybody that wants to buy a TDI sheet, buy one from Dave. I'll tell you, Chris. I, no, no, seriously, dude. <clears throat> I would rather not mess with it. It's a pain in the ass, right? It is. And I would rather have you doing that. And than... you have, you do a lot of custom stuff that I just don't have time for. Dude, you do production. Mm -hmm. We're a custom shop. Mm -hmm. We build custom gear. We build, we, I could give a shit less if I ever built another black holster in my <laughs> life. Okay. See, I like building black holsters. It, it, it's because you you have a different personality too. Right. I like to do creative things. Uh -huh. I like to build pretty things. I like to do fun, you know, odd right. stuff. You like to build a precise product that every single one of them is exactly the same when it's going out the door. You could lay fifty of them down and scramble them up, and you wouldn't be able to tell which ones was which. Right. You build production stuff. We build custom stuff. Different market, different customers, different yep. product. Completely different. And customers. I think that's well, that, the reason we get along. Well, that answers my question because uh, a couple days ago, uh, I gave my TDI sheath away to Aaron Little. Um, and he was showing it off today. Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> was guy, he? guy dumped a CDI on the ground in the middle of our combatives the class yeah. that we we're having. And he goes, where'd that come from? And the guy goes, oh, shitty sheath. And I said, he says, if only you knew somebody that made one. And I said, Ah, and Aaron looked at me, and I said, I'm about to make a recommendation that doesn't involve me. He goes, I said, and he pulled his shirt up, I said, buy one of those. Dave White makes an excellent TDI sheet. If you want a TDI sheet, buy that motherfucker right there. Because, well, you. oh, well, yours, vacuum forming really lends itself to making those things. Oh, yeah. Making them the way I make things in a steel press with multiple layers of foam, um, it's very hard to get consistency, and there's a lot of... A lot of hand fussing around. Mm -hmm. I've seen you. You've got the, the way you've got your patterns laid out, and everyone yep. is the same. The way you chop yep. them in the lines. Yep. Best advice he ever give, gave me: measure everything. Measure everything. Well, what was one of the pieces of advice that back into the camera? <laughs> well, you have to back it's easy. It's to right over there. You can see it. It's words and okay. reasons. Fair enough. Stuff. I'm, I said it, I would edit that out, but I'm not going to. It's going to be it. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. Me either. Okay. My, my advice. Oh, your, his advice: yeah. measure everything. Measure everything from every dimension. Measure from hole to hole, measure from the side of the gun to the holes, measure from the edge to the holes, measure how high you're making the holes. And that really helped me getting a standardization for ride height and positioning. And it, once you start getting that consistency across your models, even if it's a custom model and it's a little different looking, the mechanics of it are the same. Yep. And that allows you to make your everything consistent. And make it, you, There's not much thinking involved. You're not having to consider and do layout and, and figure out all these things. And it works better. It makes for a much more consistent product. And it makes product. your job easier and yes. faster. Yes. Yeah. Make more money. Yeah. There's more people money. out here probably That's going, I'm thinking about getting in some Kydex. And right now they're going, fuck, that sounds hard. Make I thought it was going to be easy. <laughs> okay, no. There are people that say, <laughs> you heat up a piece of plastic and you jam it on a piece of blue gun. No. Get closer. There is... There's material science, there's heat science, there's there's mechanical science, there's engineering, there's there's all kinds of things going on. I mean, not just the geometry of the holster, not just the way it, it actually functions, but you know, there's things you can and can't do to the decks that will drive the volatiles out of it, re reduce the flexibility. There's things you can do in the pressing process, the forming process that, say for instance, pins the kydex on the high points, then when you press it, it stretches it there, you make a thin spot, that's where you get a working stress riser, that's where you get a crack. All those things have to be taken into account if you're going to build a quality product. And if you don't understand the mechanics of it, I come in from a material science background. I've worked in the bridge building industry and mechanical engineering and uh, CNC's, things like that, and robotics. So I come at it from a stress point. And now, I, I, when I look at one of my holsters, I'll look at it and boy, it looks pretty, but I can see right there that this design is going to suck because in 5,000 cycles, this place right here is going to concentrate stress and there's going to be a stress riser. So we go back and redesign and come around that. And what these guys out here don't know, uh, our first conversation as a, from my background as a welding instructor, right. everything you're talking about made perfect sense to me. And we got it off in this conversation as a group of people going, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> right, right. And I was like, oh, man, I didn't expect to have that conversation with you. Uh, mind you, I had just met Chris. Four days ago. Why did you sound like you were taking a hit on a great in there, man? I was like, I don't, I don't know what that is that you're talking about. Right. But uh, so oh, vape stick. Um, Ashley, vape stick. But uh, so generally, uh, the whole point of this was to break the myth that you guys would be, you know, these. Yeah. They, like both of them had said to me, we're not competitors. Camera, but 
Yeah, you can you can be a friend. Just one for just um, just We get that a lot. I, do you get a lot from people? People call up and go, "What do you think of this guy's shit?" Blah, 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 blah. And oh, yeah. they, they think we hate each other. Yeah. Like there's Bill Peters at Yeti. Mm -hmm. Bill builds a completely different product from either one of us. Mm -hmm. Bill stuff. I like Bill stuff. I look at Bill stuff and I'm like, man, that's some beautiful stuff. Bill mm -hmm. grades uh, Leatherneck Tactical. Um, they make that little iMod wallet thing. Yeah, yeah. I have people walk at me all the time. Can you make me one of these? No, fucking buy what you've got one. But you just, he makes them. He makes them already. And I, I want to deal with so it. So you guys are saying that uh, Yeti. Yes. The fellow there is yes, Bill Peters. Bill Peters. So Bill Peters, if you are watching this, I have not checked out one of your products. When is this going up? Uh, I don't know. Bill just had uh, his um, his wife's father just passed away, so they're doing some funeral stuff. So. Bill, we're thinking about you, dude. Uh, hope everything yeah. comes out good and uh, sending good thoughts. Yeah, stay right. strong, here, man. man. Yeah, if you need us, holler at us. You got our numbers. And uh, well, you don't have my number, but you can have my number, <laughs> and you can probably find me if you really wanted. But I'm saying that I will check out your stuff as soon as we make can make that happen. Yes. Uh, so just throw that out there. Well, as well. here's the thing too. Somebody calls you up and tells you they want a light bearing appendix holster for a TLR1 left handed encrypted typhoon with purple rivets on it. <laughs> He's gonna go. Are you insane? Oh my God, damn right. it. <laughs> uh, damn it. And Bill builds stuff that we don't build. He builds some little gizmos and stuff. I'm not going to build something. I'm not even going to attempt something that somebody else that I know is doing a better job than I know I can do without a shitload of effort. Yeah. I have as much work as I can do. I, I have more work than I can do. We're constantly in an expansion and growth cycle, and it, it, it's difficult. So I'm not taking on any new products unless somebody else is doing them poorly Yep. And there's no chance for me to help them improve. If somebody's doing something and it's cool and I don't, we don't want to deal with it, but they're doing an almost perfect job, I have no problem calling that dude up and telling him, look, man, here's a little feedback. Try this, try yep. this, try this. Try using this thing, try using that thing. And that's what he did with me. That's what we do with other people. People helped me when I was starting out, and we all like to pay it forward. The, the okay. Kydex industry is not as, as competitive. It's not cutthroat like the knife world or the gun world. And what's weird, world. like people talk about that, you know, the industry being competitive. Uh, Around here, our family, our circle of people, there isn't any of that. No, no, yeah. and that's refreshing. That, that's yeah. one of the most interesting things yep. about this business is everybody helps. It's co-opetition. Yep. Oh, okay. I like that. We're we're that's we're. Kind of, it's yes, like a made-up word, and Tim didn't make it. up. I didn't make it up. That is actually a word that Daryl Waltrip came up to describe the team NASCAR racing, where they were like drafting and helping yep. each other. Co-opetition. We're mm -hmm. cooperating because we're on the same team, but we're still in competition. Yep. It's co-opetition. We we, we, we we compete with each other like, ha-ha, isn't this cool? And then I'll go build something, ha-ha, isn't this cool? And it raises the level for everybody, right. so the competition yeah. so, makes it better. Uh, this way. Uh, what's that? There you go. Good deal. So it sounds like... I'm going to help you, Tremis. Look, this is like basic photography 101. I'm going to increase <laughs> the size of the field. But now we're all small. And I'm already small. Look we at that, though. I can small. Look, I can go all the way over here. And I can still be in frame. <laughs> and I'm not in your personal space. He's, he's clever. So, what I... Because I, science, bitches. What I've heard from talking to you guys a little bit here, and well, I talk to you guys you know, a lot around here. Uh, Dave was actually my date last night. Mm -hmm. uh, so, oh, sorry, Sabrina. Yeah. Again. No, no. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> or who will, you know, it's legal now, so... Dave, whatever. Yeah. You're I'm, your not, boat, just I'm not your judge. I'm, I'm a libertarian. But it sounds like <laughs> both of you have lots of work. Like, you're both doing well when it comes uh, to the number being, of yeah. orders received. Being here is just, you know, I know it's with you. It's like every day you're here, you're looking at the orders coming in, you're like, I'm two, every day I'm here, I'm three more days behind. Uh, yeah, at least, or every day is every week, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. so <laughs> so we're going to up the ante even more to make it even harder on you. All my wonderful customers out there, when you visit either one of these fellas, by the time this comes out, uh, go ahead and enter the coupon code TREMIS, T-R-E-M-I-S, in the coupon code box when you order, and we'll get these guys some more orders going on. And, oh, uh, yeah. And th that'll be cool. That'll keep us in business. And yep. and we like <laughs> Doing my part, <laughs> helping friends. <laughs> we, like, we like building kinky shit. You not order a black holster from me. Yeah, if order you, a black holster from me. Right. If you want a black <laughs> holster that is absolutely perfect in every way that looks just like every other holster he turns out, they're, the consistency is amazing. <laughs> My stuff, everything's just a little bit different because every customer is a little bit different. Again, completely different process. Oh, yeah. Completely different. So, uh, there we have it. Uh, these guys are pals. They get along with each other. They fake like they get along with me. <laughs> so We're just trying to butter you up because you're putting us on the YouTube. Yeah, you know. Nice. Because yeah. I like being on the interwebs. On yes. Not like I'm not already having enough interwebs trouble as it is. Just well, they're, they're big fans just of YouTube. Dog pile that shit, man. Awesome, awesome. 
So that was really all I had. So I, you know, thank you guys for stopping by, and hopefully you're enjoying yourselves this weekend and oh, all that kind of stuff. And come, t come train at Tactical Response. Yes. If you've never been to Camden, Tennessee. You are as wrong as Dick Cancer. Okay. This place will change your life. I was yep. a cop for 20 years in South Florida. Came up here, learned all kinds of shit in the first day that I take, did not learn anywhere else. Yep. Change your life. life. Awesome. Take all force right. on force. Take medical. Carry fucking gear in your pocket because yes. if you carry a gun, you need to carry some shit to poke holes to plug up some holes because. You may not be the one shooting. Somebody else may be shooting. You don't you never know. Carry some shit in your pockets. It's all cheap, that, all it's easy. that shit. Yeah, carry all that shit. I was here to plug you guys, not the other way around. <laughs> so, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching, fellas, and uh, take it easy. Peace. I loved you. I love you forever. I have your baby. Let's talk.